Now, the P drive is a virtual drive on your computer that's pointing to any folder on your file system that you want. I personally have set my P drive up so it points to my Arma 3 uh, tools folder. Um, in order to create the P drive, you will have to create a batch file, but I have done this for you guys, so just download it from the description. You will have to edit one line in there, which is the path to the folder you want to link the P drive to. And you will have to execute the bat file every time you want to mount the P drive because after every reboot, the P drive is removed. There's a way around this though. You can execute the bat file every time you start your computer. Just copy it into following folder of your Windows Explorer. Just type in at the top here, shell, double point, startup. This, uh, just put your batch file in here or a link to the batch file and it will be executed every time you, you launch your computer, you will have a working P drive. Okay, so in my P drive, I have an add-on, Mega Sound Test, add-ons, and I have two guns in here. I want to pack up Mega MX2 for Arma so it works. So I'm using PBO Project by Mikiro. First time you launch it, you will have to set it up. Click Setup, select the game engine you want to use, Arma 3 in my case. I personally don't like date stamps, but that's just me, just keep it uh, how you want it. You can do all kinds of cool stuff in here, sign your PBOs, whatever, but that's that's self-explanatory, self -ex I think. So PBO project needs um, an input and an output. So I want the PBO project to output my stuff into my Arma 3 at Mega Sound Test. Click. I want the PBO project to pack up uh, some add-ons, and here's the important thing, you, you have to select the add-ons from your, from your P drive. It will not work selecting them from anywhere else. For example, I told you that my P drive is pointing to my Arma 3 tools, so I could go, so like I cannot go into my Steam, Arma 3 tools, and make a sound test, add-ons, whatever. It will not work, because uh, it has to work from the P drive. So we go to the P drive, make a sound test, add-ons, I want the second MX, select the folder and crunch it. If everything is good, you have no errors, you will get this. This is my AdMega sound test folder. PBO project has created an add-ons folder in there and there's the PBO. You can also pack up multiple add-ons within a big folder at the same time. Just select your source folder and select your big, your, your main project folder, not just one uh, weapon or something. So make a sound test and that's enough. Click crunch. It will pack up both PBOs and put them into the folder of your choice. Let's just do this again, crunch, bam, everything works. Both PBOs have been created. Now you just need to load in your add-on and enjoy your stuff.